Today, we are at the Fitton Center celebrating something really fun, and they're known for having great events and also just honoring the arts here in our community. They are for sure, and when we heard about this party, we had to come and check it out in person. We're joined by our friend, the executive director of the Fitton Center, yes. Ian McKenzie Thurley. Always great to see you, and you are decked out for this event. We are ready for Saturday night. It's Mardi Gras time here in downtown Hamilton. Oh my gosh, and this is the place to come for this party too, right? How did this whole thing come about? Uh, a couple of years ago, we tried to change change up our program and make things a little bit more interactive. Having people, it's great to come to concerts and shows and watch, but to get people up, get people dancing, we'll have our beautiful parquet dance floor down, they can get up, they can enjoy a drink, and they can enjoy the fantastic music from the Hot Magnolias here for our Mardi Gras party. And it's really evolved from that. We have great support from the community, uh, from our friends at Municipal Brew Works. All of this that you see here, it comes straight out of their basement. So the Goodmans love Mardi Gras, and I used to throw the best house party in Hamilton and it's come out of their house and here to the here to the fitness center we're so excited about it Oh well, my goodness. Yeah. I can only imagine what that basement looked like. <laughs> yeah. Not just a basement. We would decorate the whole house. Just like you do for you know a major holiday, you take everything down and all the Mardi Gras comes out. So. I love it. All right. Well, Laura and Jim Goodman, they are here with us today. And like we said, this is all because of them. So tell us, what can people look forward to at this upcoming event? Oh, lots of music. The music's going to be amazing. The hot magnolias will make you shake your tail feather. Um, a little bit of Zydeco, Cajun, jazz. They do everything. Everything. and so definitely the music is really going to get everybody up and um, and having a great time and we'll have some signature drinks flowing too so Mardi Gras comes a hurricane that's like the most popular drink it's a rum based drink and so that it'll be available and just great you know bringing the community out together catching up having a great time yeah exactly I love all the uh, the props that we're we're wearing and having some fun with here today. But you said the the colors have significance as well. Yeah. So um, the crew of Rex were the ones that initiated the colors of Mardi Gras, and the purple stands for justice, green stands for faith, and the gold stands for power. I love that meaning there. That is that's really beautiful, and this holds a lot of meaning to both of you personally. You really wanted to bring this culture and this excitement to the area, right? Absolutely. Um, it, we spent some time uh, down south when Laura was getting her uh, graduate degree in college and I was working out of New Orleans and would have to go over there at least once a month. Uh, and it was just, you know, coming from the Midwest, meat and potatoes guy, and then going to New Orleans and having just this explosion of culture and different foods and styles. And it was it was really contagious. So when we came up here, uh, when we moved back, um, it, it was just it was asking for something and um, we said you know what let's just throw a big Mardi Gras party and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and and uh, with the brewery you know we like to throw parties and Hamilton's tagline is you know throw a party and invite the world so that's that's what we're trying to do love it and what better spot than the fitness center too because Ian I mean you have so many programs going on here throughout the year uh, we are a community arts center, so we are here for the entire community. So we do have Mardi Gras shows, we have jazz, we have rock, we have opera, we have ballet, we have comedy. A little something for everyone. We want to be inclusive in bringing everybody in to see what they like, see what they want to explore. Uh, and this is a really big part of it. The community is right at the center of all we do. And also having a great load of fun in downtown Hamilton. Oh yeah, well I'm sure people watching this are going to want to come out and have some fun. How can they get tickets about for the event and learn more? Best ways to get online to see fitandcenter.org you can get us there and you can book tickets as well uh, of course we're on all of the socials your Facebook your Twitters uh, and you can also call us at 513-863-8873 you can reserve tickets and in fact you can reserve a table of eight uh, we have lounge style seating for our events up in the ballroom to invite your friends and enjoy a fantastic night out here at the Fit and Center and also to go out before and after our friends at Municipal Brew Works best beer in town best beer in the area in fact uh, to support um, our local businesses who do such great things for us, for our community, and we want to turn that back and have everybody enjoy everything that Hamilton has to offer. Wow. Awesome. It sounds like there's a whole lot that they have, that well, that you all have to offer. Where exactly are you located? Maybe people can't make it out to this event, but they still want to grab a really good drink. We have two locations, so we are in the back side of the municipal building, uh, right off High Street, right by the Marriott, and we have a second location over in the Spooky Nook Sports um, complex. We're in the event center on the riverside right by the hotel. So, yeah. All right. Are you ready for well, this? I am. This yeah, will be I fun. Out here. I need to get 
Right. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Absolutely. Absolute pleasure. We look forward to seeing everybody uh, Saturday night. Look at this. Here we go. <laughs>